So we've looked at several uh, Old Testament words that talk about revival and what revival is, and we've given those uh, definitions of them, and we've uh, uh, held them into their biblical context. And a lot of people say, well, uh, revival is an Old Testament theme. It's not really talked about in the New Testament. Well, remember that first word for revival that we looked at in the Old Testament? And it was a word that uh, uh, literally means to bring that which is dead back to life. Well, friends, I want you to understand that is the central theme of the the New Testament. You better realize that. You better understand that. And that is absolutely what the New Testament church needs to be busy about the business of doing, seeing that which is dead come back to life. In fact, when we look in uh, Romans chapter 14 and verse 9, uh, the Bible says using that New Testament Greek word as the Old Testament uh, Hebrew counterpart of that. It says, uh, speaking of Jesus, for to this end Christ died and lived again. You could literally say he was revived. He was dead, but he came back to life. Now, spiritually speaking, the Bible says those who are separated from Jesus Christ are dead in their transgressions and sins. They're spiritually dead. Friends, we need to have revival for the sake of seeing those who are spiritually dead come back to life. At the same time, we look at the church. And as we look at the church today, we recognize that there are many churches that are dead. They're, they're absolutely dead. Uh, and they need to come back to life. And they can come back to life. Jesus said to the church of Sardis, he said uh, to one of those churches in Revelation, uh, uh, the seven, one of the seven churches of Asia, he said that you have a reputation that you're alive, but you're dead. And he wants them to come back to life. He wants them to repent and uh, come to life. And so absolutely, that is a New Testament uh, theme beyond a shadow of a doubt. God wants that which is dead to come to life. And so today we have so many within the church that are seeking the spectacular. How much more spectacular is it to see someone who is eternally dead step into eternal life? You're not going to see anything more spectacular than that, friends. What a phenomenal thing that that is. We need to seek that. We need to pray for that. God, would you bring about those who are eternally dead, spiritually dead, bring them into eternal life. Save their souls before it's eternally too late. God, those churches that are dead, bring them back to life. Revive those churches as well.